welcome to another video. Today it is part two of the Celine tote bag sew along. So today I'm going to be talking you through how to make these double sided straps. So let's get started. Okay so as I mentioned we are doing double sided straps. So we've got vinyl on one side or your contrast fabric on one side then your exterior fabric on the other side and this is what you want to end up with. You can do double sided straps that are exactly the same width and top stitch them together and that looks really nice but I want to do ones that this this section is slightly smaller than the vinyl. So the first thing you want to do is take your 24 inch strip which is two inches wide and press it in half like this. Once you've done that you're then going to take one edge and fold that up so it meets that crease line that you've just done and press that the whole way along. So we're gonna do that next. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is once you've pressed that first raw edge into the center, we wanna take the next raw edge, press it up to that crease line that you've just made. So this, and you should end up with something that looks like this. So we should end up with two pieces that look like this. You have one shorter pressed under edge and then you have the other longer pressed under edge tucked underneath that so that when you turn it over, you have nice pressed creases on the outside and then we're going to sew this to our vinyl or exterior contrast strap and I'll show you that when we get there. Okay so we're now going to top stitch our vinyl straps. So when we cut them out we made a mark which was one inch down the, down the very centre of it so we have folded over the raw edge of the vinyl and obviously you can't pin it so I'm using my wonder clips and I'm going to top stitch that edge and I'm actually going to do it so that I can see this side so that the vinyl doesn't get all squiffy because I've had that happen to me before again ask me how I know I have my blind hem foot on although given that I'm working with vinyl you want to test a piece first to make make sure that it is going to slide underneath the presser foot in the correct manner you may need to have a teflon foot or a roller foot thankfully this one is working for me with just the blind hem foot on and I like to use this one because it has a guide down the middle that I can run up against the folded edge here and I've increased my stitch length to 3.5. You're going to want to make a note of the top stitching length that you pick. Whatever you pick is going to be fine. Again, test it out, see what you like and see what you prefer when you have played around with a few different lengths. But as long as you, once you've picked one, as long as you stick to it, that's what you need to do. So if you might forget, just write yourself a, a little, again, post-it note with top stitching 3.5. And for me, I like to move my needle all the way over to the left. And again, so that's very easy for to me to remember that the needle's all the way over to the left. I will use this configuration for top stitching throughout the bag, which will give the bag consistency. So that's the first side done. I am now going to fold this edge in and do exactly the same on the other side and then do the same for the other strip or the other strap. So once you have done all the top stitching on your vinyl piece and all the pressing of your exterior fabric piece, you're going to want to lay them so that the raw edges are together, so wrong sides together and you're going to end up with something that looks a little bit like this. So when you're lying it on top of each other you should just be able to see the top stitching that you've done on your vinyl piece and you're going to want to clip those together and you're going to want to clip from both sides because we're going to be top stitching the exterior fabric to the vinyl and it can if you don't clip the other side it can get pushed out of alignment so we're going to run a line of top stitching along this folded edge here which will secure this exterior fabric to the vinyl and when you've done both lines of top stitching you should end up with something that looks like this so two lines of stitching on your vinyl or four lines of stitching on your vinyl to each side and then one line of top stitching on your exterior fabric you can go further than that and add another line if you would like some decoration on there I'm going to leave it at this one I'm going to get the other strap done okay so the straps are done now I'm going to move on to the closure strap so you want your two pieces that are nine inches by one inch and what you're going to do with those is you're going to fold the raw edges into the center so you end up with a piece of fabric that is half an inch wide you're going to need your swivel clasp and your d-ring and what you're going to do is once you have folded and pressed the fabric into the center you're then going to thread on See if I can do this one-handed. Probably not. I'm going to put the camera down. Okay, so you're going to thread on your swivel clasp. And I did press mine so that it was also had a crease in the middle. And then you're going to top stitch those two 
folded edges together from the bottom all the way up you're going to pivot there and top stitch down don't worry if you can't get really really close to the hardware because i actually going to put a rivet in here later just to make sure that it all stays in place so yeah i'm going to top stitch that and we're going to do exactly the same for the d-ring as well fold it all in press it put the d-ring on and then we are going to Hold it so that it's in half and the raw edges are even at the bottom and then top stitch and again the same don't worry if you can't get super close to the hardware because again we're going to put a rivet in here so you should end up with two uh, straps that look like this with a swivel clasp on one and a d-ring on the other as i said i've left quite a gap there because i'm going to put a rivet in there just to secure that down so i'm going to set these aside and then i'm going to start working on the zipper pocket if you have any questions at all please let me know in the comment section down below and i'll do my best to answer them for you i hope you've enjoyed today's video if you have please give it a thumbs up if you haven't yet please subscribe and i'll see you again very soon bye